Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, today I'm going to um, be talking about my college experience and what do I think of college so far. Okay, so um, as you guys don't know, I'm a freshman at the Southern University in AM, AMC College of Ben Ridge, Louisiana. So, um, yeah, I moved in August and now it's October. We got two months left, but not even two months, like a month left. Because after Chris, after Thanksgiving break, we used to come back a week, do finals, and then we out. We're moving out until the spring semester, then we come back. Move out for a whole month. Like, wow. Y'all, time has flown by so fast. Like, whoo. Whoo. Time just, just flew by. Anyways, um, so basically my overall college experience so far has been an eye opener for me because um being at the Southern University is actually a great experience. If you get an opportunity or a chance to come visit us or could just come check out the campus, do so. It's at HBCU, so you know. Um I choose chose Southern because I wanted to get the HBC you experience in the um the cultural intrude me i think yeah i think that's why i chose it um yeah that's why because yeah and i like the band i liked it all of that yeah okay because i came last year for homecoming well, it's already been a year i think Cause they had well, it's going. It's coming up to be a year because it was in October last year. This year is like the first of November. Okay, so I came for homecoming. That was like my first time being on campus since I was like real little. Then I really don't remember much, you know, because it was I came for my my aunt's graduation and that was it. And so um, and I was like probably like what eight, not eight, but like five. I don't know. I was young. It was back in 06. So, um, anyways, I came and I went to the parade and we tailgated. Then y'all went to sleep at the tailgate. Uh, I just didn't know anyone. I did see someone I knew and you know, um, they, they go to Xavier. They went to Xavier, but now they go to Susla, which is in, no, Suno, which is in um, New Orleans. Okay, so I seen them. I hugged them. We talked to whatever. She's like, you might as well come on down here, you know, go to school, whatever. I'm right down the road. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I seen her and that was all, like, the person, only the only person I knew. Um, and so it was kind of, like, boring for me because I didn't know anyone. If I would have knew how to re reach out and connect with people on Twitter who were freshmen, I probably would have you know, being with them. But at the time, I wasn't really utilizing that until I got ready to come here. And then, you know, we got the SU23. Oh, this is on Twitter. Because I was following some people from Southern um, who were cheerleaders, who were orientation leaders, you know, and stuff like that. And so I followed them. And, you know, that's how I got to the, the, the up and up. And, you know, got to know everything. Like, as far as what was going on because I was seeing it from what they posted. So if I would have been talking to them before, you know, like way ahead of time, like this time last year, I probably, you know, would have been with them and it would have probably would have been fun then. But I, yeah, I went to sleep. Like I wouldn't, wouldn't have it. Like I was tired of looking like, you know, you just sit there and you look at, and you know, different stuff be going on, go walk around. Uh, uh, I was tired of that. You know, it was so many people. I didn't know anyone. I wasn't going to walk by myself because, I mean, where am I going? Like, you know, it was just so, like, it was just, now that I think about it, like, I remember, like, the place we were and everything. And it was just so, like, um, like, um, I remember this, but, um, then I didn't know nothing about this. So, anyways, but that's why I chose Southern and, you know, I got that experience and the parade was, the parade is lit, y'all. The whole, like, the homecoming, tailgating is lit out this world. When I tell you, you will see something of uh, everything. You will see something of everything, y'all. Let me tell y'all, it is so lit. I'm uh, I'm going to be up there with them. It is lit -ta, on fire. Homecoming be up there. 
So, um, and then our, we have our concert, I think the Thursday or Friday. Well, I think Thursday. Thursday night. It's on our, it's on Halloween. Our 30th. I don't know what day you think. It's on the Thursday. I don't know, y'all. But we have our concert coming up, and we got Ari Lennox, uh, Young Nudie. We got, I think it's the baby. Uh, I don't know. Don't give me the line, y'all. I don't know. It's a whole bunch of people. Eric Blinger. It's going to be lit. Homecoming's going to be lit. I'm just happy we got Ari. That's my girl. So, um, coming into Southern, let's talk about that. Coming here, what did I expect and how was all of that for me? So, um, getting here, everything was like new to me. I didn't know nothing about nothing equals nothing. <laughs> So, I had to learn everything, and my auntie was here to help me, you know, whatever, about some of the stuff that she knew, but from the time that she was here, the campus had changed a lot, so it's it's kind of like, she really knew where she was going, I sure didn't know where I was going, and so, I had to learn my way around, so, I was doing orientation stuff, so, I met someone, how did I meet, I met someone through a group me, SU23 group me, and I was talking to her, and I was hanging with her, and, and I had my roommate, and like that and so um i met her she's my friend she still is my friend today um i was hanging with her during orientation or whatever and some people y'all some people did do or orientation i'm thinking like it was mandatory but you didn't have to be there because they was like going out to the mall and doing other stuff i'm thinking like wow like i thought you had to be here anyways i'm just saying like some people who was supposed to be in there wasn't there and so I moved in. I didn't. I didn't get settled in. I just put my stuff down and I, I left because I thought, you know, I had to go. And plus, I'm happy I went because it was a lot of informational stuff at the orientation that because I went to the very last orientation. The very last orientation, you move in the same day because I use the move in day. Then it's like the welcome you and this and this and this and this. So it's like eight, nine orientation sessions that they have, something like that, all through the month of July. I want to say. All the way to down to August. So yes, um, went to that, and the friends that I have now, actually were at the orientation, but I didn't like meet them at that time. So, oh well. So um, yeah, coming into here, I had to get my financial aid grid uh straight, and y'all let me say that was terrible, like for real, like oh my gosh, like uh uh, I was so stressed out, didn't know what to do. Okay, I had to go get my balance statement. I had to go to see about these loans, this, this money, this here, this and this, and this. Where do I go? I'm going up here to get the balance statement. I got to go here, do this, do this, this, this. And you still can't get in there. They had, a, uh, it was like a thing where you had to use the app to get in line. It's called QLess. And you did that, and you got in line, and y'all, when I tell y'all, y'all gonna be enough for that line for four hours, sometimes they even roll over to the next day, you gonna be in that line. Eight o'clock, when they open up, seven o'clock, whatever, six o'clock, you better be at the door. I'm telling you now, you better be at the door. At the door, baby. The door. Be at the door. Because when they open up, and they are uh, uh turn that their app on two minutes. Three hundred people, two hundred people jumping on, jumping on. You trying to get on, trying to remember your S number. You better remember the S number. That S number that you get, you better remember that S number because it's like your second social security number, because you're gonna need it for a lot of stuff. What's your S number? Oh, um, uh uh. Ain't no O oh, um is oh you it's S. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You better tell them. <laughs> like me. That was me. I'm trying to log into the app. You got a memory essence. So I'm going to find notes. Look at, looking for them. Ah. By the end, probably about five, ten people done jumped in line before me. I got it, though. I know now. <laughs> if I have to take special trips, like, just to get my financial aid together, I will. I mean, like, in if for any incoming students, like, if you... Um, if you're coming to Southern and you know, and, um, and, um, their financial aid, uh, is a little, uh, you, you might want to come to uh, over the summer and get that situated because once they start purging your classes, there's nothing you can do about that. 
And we, I'm just being real. Like, get it taken care of and get it out the way. That's one thing coming here taught me about financial aid. Get it taken care of. Get it out the way. Take care of your business and your business will take care of you. That's one thing they have taught me. Yes. <laughs> so, got that done. And it, I got mine done. It was like two weeks later. It started purging classes. But still, they were supposed to be purging that like they fried it. But I mean, it was like, it was so bad, y'all. Like, it backed up with people, you know, financial aid. That they had to like extend that because it was no way that they could see everyone, tend to everyone's needs, you know, by the uh, time set. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, I mean, if you, and if, any of y'all coming here that's watching this, um, you would learn about them, like like little stuff like to, that you just would know. And that everyone else here knows this is how they are. You will learn that and you'll be like, okay, I understand. And I will, and depending on the person you are, depending on how you care about your uh, well-being, you will be like, okay, I'm going to do what I have to do to take care of my business and make sure my business is straight. Period. That's me. I already filled out my FAFSA for 2020, 2021, and I'm good with that. And so um, when I come back the spring semester, uh, I'm just going to take care of my stuff over the summer. I ain't going to wait till the spring semester start, and then here I go in financial aid line again, waiting for a while. No, mm -mm. I'm not going to do that. Nuh uh. We ain't having it. Not this time. Mm -mm. Yeah, my sister's coming, supposed to be coming to Southern, so I'm going to take care of her, her business too. Because, mm-mm. <laughs> Y'all, once you get to know something and you, you know how it is, it's just how it is. So, anyways, all for that. So, like I said in there, they taught me to take care of my business. <laughs> and, y'all, like, it was so bad. Like, I was, like, freaking crying. Like, oh, my gosh. Like, I have to get this. And, because, you know, if I don't get this, uh, I'm, I'm going to be packing up, going home. Like, for real. Like, it was serious. Like, y'all. Like, I wasn't playing no games. I was like, I have to get this today. Anyways, the storm was over. Because, you know, you got to go through the storm to see a, uh, see some uh sun. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, uh, the welcome week was lit. They had a lot of events and stuff for us to do. So, if you come on Southern, there's a lot for you, a lot of things for you to do on campus. Um, they have events and different things going on, organizations you could be a part of, SGA, um, Student Government Association. Um, they have Men's Federation. They have SUNAACP. They have just started back SUTV, you know, for all you mass communication majors. Um, let's see what else. There's um, Miss Men's Federation, I think. That's kind of like, I don't know if it's like different women or is it like, I don't know how that works, but I know they just had a pageant for that, like, uh, the other day. Um, let's see, I don't know what else they have. Oh, they have, you know, you know, they have the sororities and stuff, but, um, freshmen cannot try to, you know, do that until later. But, um, what else they have on campus? I'm trying to give y'all like an idea, like everything. Like, I'm not sure about the clubs and stuff. I'm not sure about that. But it's some more that I'm forgetting that I've seen at, like, the organizational fair that listed and showed, like, each organization. There's, like, so many. There's, like, a a band thing, I think. Oh, yeah, and there's the band, too. Uh, let's see what else there is. You know, there's all different sports. They have uh, football, baseball, basketball, Volleyball, softball, uh, what else? I think I'm forgetting something. I don't know. That's all I think. I I think they have, and if they have that, even. But um, I'm not familiar with everything. But um, yeah, guys. Um, that's like my whole college experience, basically. Um, I just say go to class. Please go to class. Please go to class. <laughs> People be like, please go to class. Please go to class. Please go to class. Because they will tell you the first day when you get there, your professor will tell you how much your attendance will be counted 
for your grade, like what percentage of, of tenants is counted for your grade. Just go to class, all I got to say. Me, I'm the type to where I like to know what's going on, and I don't like to rely on people telling me, oh, this here happened in class, this and this and this, and oh, uh, trying to send me the notes and stuff. I mean, it depends on the professor in the class, and then you get to know that, like, when she start going, like, some classes you make a miss, and then others, like, you may just have to go. Because, I mean, they may be handing out assignments every time you go, which is like my history class, almost. Like, we get assignments every time we go, which is kind of, like, good, because, I mean, it's helping our grade, because, you know, like, um, then, let's see, and we take notes, too, that which is going to be for the test. So, I mean, that's, like, you know, good. And let's see what else I was going to say. Um, about grades. Attendance, grades. Did I talk about, I don't know. Uh, get to know your professors. I mean, you don't just have to, like, talk to them or whatever. Just, like, I mean, you can. But, I mean, because, like, when you need something from them, like, they see that you're in class, you're taking notes, you, you know, you're there you're coming and like you need like hey i need a letter recommendation can you write it for me sure you know he comes to class he's you know motivated he's you know whatever they're gonna want to support you because you're coming to class you're doing whatever you need to do so that's basically like getting on the up and up with them like you know and network please network like i mean <laughs> i know so many people like it's not even funny like i know people and like which is a good thing, and I, I'm i friends with, like, a lot of people because, like, I mean, especially in class. Like, you never know when you're going to need some notes or something or when, like, you know, something may pop up and be like, hey, can you help me out with this? Um, I, I need help studying, you know, or something like that, you know. Don't just be that person who just goes and tends just to go to class, come back, eat, sleep, and just breathe. Don't do nothing. Like, come on. Get out, do stuff, go to events, go to parties. Only on weekends, though, y'all. There's a lot of parties going on off campus, so I'm pretty sure you're going to have plenty of opportunities, opportunities to party. Yes, I've learned there are a ton of parties in Banner Ridge on the weekends. I did not know that. But, yes, um, <laughs> there are a lot of parties. And um, let's see what else. But you have to be able to... Uh, restrict yourself from doing those certain things. Like, if you know you have a paper coming up and you know that you need to um, write your outline and write your rough draft and stuff for your essay, um, you need to handle your business. The partying can come later. Like, you can get some friends together and party in your dorm or something, you know? You don't necessarily have to go out, yeah. You don't have to go out, yeah. But, um, <laughs> but, um, if you have to take care of your business, take care of your business. Y'all get what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I mean, babe. But take care of your business. It's fun. It's like that. Okay? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say. That's basically my experience and basically what goes on here. Not, it's not what goes. Yeah, what goes on here and um, some of what I experienced. And let's see what else. What else did I talk about? Basically, just some common stuff that you guys probably probably would um should know coming into college or maybe coming to Southern or whatever. But I'm gonna do a video, um, the the over in the summer for the incoming freshmen and stuff like that. So if you guys are watching this about what to expect from Southern University, stay tuned because I will actually have a video. On that, or if you're watching this to, to what to expect about college or anything like that, stay tuned. I will have a video on that. It's going to be in basically in all in one. And um, this is just my overall college experience. And I just wanted to, like, tell you guys how that has been. And that's, you know, been that. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later in my next vlog. So stay tuned for that. Peace out, as always. Thank you guys for support. Thank you guys for supporting me. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Comment down below what videos you want to see me do next. Um, yeah. Uh.